Hi. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. YouTube folks, YouTube family, and those who are here in general. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Amy M. <laughs> and I like to talk about all different kinds of things. Um, my main focuses are um, kind of healing tips, health and well-being, um, mentally, physically, and emotionally. And then also I like to share about the goddess because I am basically a goddess worshiper. If not even a worshiper, just a goddess truth seeker. Because what I've come to the conclusion in most of my research is that we are not really meant to worship a god outside of us. We are supposed to worship um, each other, ourselves, and I think this planet and I see this planet as a great creator and a feminine energy and so today is Valentine's Day <laughs> and um, I I have several goddess books so today we're going to talk about the goddess uh, and the moon cycles um, because it is also a moon day, a Monday. So Monday is named supposedly for the moon. And, um, I've been doing some studying about numbers and specifically the number nine and nine day calendar, nine, 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 nine. I think I've I don't know this for sure. I'm still doing some more research. I think nine represents infinity. I think nine is the true infinite number. And um, then the other number would be, or if we call it number symbol, would be zero. And zero actually meaning a whole rather than nothing, so to speak. Or it would be minus something. It's very... Um, simplistic but when it comes to the math that we've been taught it's kind of backwards from what I understand okay so today would be day okay so in another video I did I mentioned that January February and March are all having a new moon starting it and then I said I didn't look up February what I meant was I didn't look up April or May but I did since that video and basically, we are having a new moon, and I had a feeling because there's something about our Gregorian calendar that is also part of the, what I call spell, not a spell, straight up. It's another kind of distraction. It's a, it's a, it's a necessary teaching to lock in time, and I'm, I'm, uh, theorizing that by us being locked in time, we are actually, um, we're supposed to break out of that. I think that the lesson is for us to actually break the time lock and be able to exist for thousands of years and travel around the universe. And I don't know, that could be totally delusional. But that's one of my theories because I think there's far more to us than they want us to know. Okay, so I did the research and all the way through June, we have the new moon falling on the firsts of the months. So for the first five months, January, February, March, April, and May, the new moon, uh, May is the last one because May has, um, because February only has 28 days this year. And so it goes into March and then April because March only has 30. Okay, March has 31 days. And the new moon actually starts on the 30th of March. Okay, let's just talk about February since we're in February. 
today is the 14th and and it's a full moon and it's Valentine's Day <laughs> and if you go by the nine moon calendar today is Uranus so Uranus is um, a planet of basically it's auspicious um, I actually don't know a lot about Uranus and I should look that up but from what I have learned um, from I've learned um, Uranus is a planet that when it is around so it's the seventh day on the nine day moon calendar and um, when it comes to like energies Uranus would be a day that you would not you would still do your normal thing but you wouldn't like um, do any kind of work I mean it matches with like the seven days so on the seventh day they rested and you know he rested it rested they say the great creator rested um, I think there are nine days in creation uh, because on the fourth day it talks about the creation of the Sun and the moon and that each was to represent the fourth days it's plural the fourth days so I wonder if it was actually uh, fourth fifth six days and then it would be seven eight nine right yeah, three more days okay just the theory just to throw out anyhow so today's the first day of the full moon we'll have the full moon through the 16th okay and um okay so that's today then we go into next month so the last three days of this month would be the day out and the new moon literally starts the first day on um march march 1st and then goes through the third all right the new moon and then in Mar and then in april the new moon begins two days before the first and then it's a new moon on the first it is also venus day which is also on a friday so it matches yeah. it matches the seven day calendar right because venus is supposed to be represented on friday all right and it's all fool's day all fool's day what does that mean I had to do a little more research on All Fool's Day. And then when we go into May, the new moon starts on the 29th of April. And then the 30th. I thought there were 31 days in May. I mean, oh, okay, sorry, April. The 29th of April is the first day of the new moon. Interesting. Um, on a personal note. <laughs> and then the first. So the 30th, 29th, 30th, and the first. And there's a solar eclipse on the 30th of April going into May 1st. So I find this interesting because the new moon is supposed to represent new beginnings and we're having a year of um, numbers. I mean, each year is numbers. And as I've been following the moon pattern, the moon earth pattern, because I do think if we did pay attention to the stars and the moon, that we earth was first I don't know what her deal is but you need to tell me um that basically we have these new moons coming and um we're in a year that total six and um that time out when you have that time out from what the my, like what my intuition tells me and the message I get is that we use those days to prepare and so I find it interesting that um, 
we also had three days before the new year and that I've learned that all the way up until today in certain um, orthodox religions, um, basically what we, we would call Christmas has lasted all the way until today. And today would be the last day of those. Some go actually to the 17th. So I wonder if that's probably number related, but from what I learned, it, it goes back to the goddess. So with that said, um, that's my moon. Okay. All right. I'm going to pause this real quick. That's my nine day moon earth update and I will be jumping in. So for today, the energy is a little bit auspicious. We got the full moon and then Uranus. And then I will do some more research on Uranus on all the planets. I know quite a bit about like the basic ones, Mercury, Venus, Mars. Um, I shouldn't say basic, but the one the pop Mercury. That's, um, but not a lot about Uranus, maybe because it's of its name or maybe just because the other planets are closer I don't know so um that's my read about the energy it's a little bit auspicious and things have been auspicious because of what's been going on worldwide I'm hearing energetically that more and more truths are going to keep coming out um new revolutionary types of healing because it's necessary right what we're gonna need oh and that um i think i mentioned this before but i'll mention it again those who are okay basically there is no technology above the divine the one true divine god's um energy um and everything created because it's been created, has something to also be created that can balance it, heal it. Um, at least that's the message I got. And that, um, yeah, planetary shifts. Um, there's other things that I've checked into um, because there's supposedly a planet, not supposedly, there are stories of Planet X and Nibiru and that they're coming closer to us, uh, or closer to the sun. And so that can affect a lot of things. Um, and I find that highly possible just because we haven't been taught completely everything about our solar system. And um, from what I understand, there's supposed to be 12, but I've heard nine. 10 and then 12 uh, ultimate planets, which would kind of correlate to a lot of our ancient stories. So if you're interested in that, you know, you can look that up like Planet X and Nibiru and um, the stories behind that because we have a lot of like archaeological evidence that we understood things further than I think we've been taught to understand them now, which I've said before. All right. So that's the moon and energy share. Um, basically there's going to be more chaos. We're going to see more chaos. We're going to see, I'm guessing, uh, the effects of actually 5g technology. Um, yeah. What else? It stresses me out <clears throat> because there's not a lot we can do about it except for basically take care of ourselves and learn ourselves the best we can, stand up for what you believe in, and um, yeah, just take care of yourselves as best as possible. Stay healthy and um, and stay true to yourself as best as possible. Right? That's. That's the most we can do. I mean, if you can actually do, if you're in a position to actually physically do something 
or uh, financially if that's your thing that's also encouraged because it it vibrates out right okay then because today is Valentine's Day and I have several books which I've mentioned before I have a 365 daily guide to the magic and inspiration of the goddess okay I've had this for years and I still don't know every single goddess that's in this book um, and then I also pulled out my gigantic book that I got um, a couple years back it's called the encyclopedia of spirits the ultimate guide to the magic of fairies genies demons ghosts gods and goddesses um, and she has tons of books she also has a, and this book is gigantic thick um, so I, I'm not gonna hold it up right now uh, but I will um, reference it at the end okay and I'm I'm using the rights of education and sharing general information this is for educational purposes only okay so today so I found this very interesting so I already brought up the number nine and I love when this happens because it's like I just feel so kind of like venerated which we'll get to that word okay so in this book today is Lupercalia Lupercalia so it names like the celebration of the day and then that's in Rome and then today's goddess is Venus alright which makes sense because she's supposed to be the goddess of love so the themes love passion romance sexuality symbols doves flowers berries trees pine cones Venus, okay, about Venus. Venus was originally an italic goddess of bosoms. Hearts and flowers have slowly become attributed to her loving, passionate energies. In fact, her name became the root word for venerate, to lift up, worship, or esteem. So it is that Venus greets uh, pre-spring efforts for uplifting our hearts with positive relationships during Lupercalia and if anybody knows the real correct pronunciation of that please let me know <laughs> um, this this holiday in Rome an ancient predecessor of Valentine's Day single girls put their names in a box I don't know where this is going, but I'm going to share it with you guys because I have a whole thing about that. <laughs> but anyways, and unmarried men drew lots to see with whom they would be paired off for the coming year. Interesting. To be more modern minded, try pinning five bay leaves to your pillow instead to dream of future loves. If you want to. I'm not. This is not. I don't. I think our world too is too toxic and traumatized for any real um, um, healthy relationships to bloom and I think that that's on purpose so that we just keep creating more drama anyhow so if you're into the love thing and you want to do that then there are some ideas for you okay <laughs> uh, if you're uh, if you're married or otherwise involved sleep steep the bay leaves in water and drink the resulting tea to strengthen the love in your relationship interesting and bay leaves help remove parasites i'm pretty sure to encourage balance and interesting hmm hmm because that would improve any relationship right and clean your body out okay sorry you guys um to encourage balance in a relationship Bind together Venus's symbols, a pine cone, and a flower, and put them somewhere in your home. Hmm. Or just spice up a passionate moment. Feed fresh berries to each other and drink a berry beverage from one cup, symbolizing united goals and destinies. How romantic. It's based off of Rome. Romantic comes from the word Rome. Just saying. Roman tradition anywhere 
there's a large in in Roman tradition, anywhere there's a large stone adjacent to a tall tree, Venus is also there. Aww. Should you know of such a place, go there today and commune with her warm, lusty energy. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> now, Venus is also a planet, right? So there's that. And in the Papa Bull, in the introduction, they talk about how Venus was more important than the other planets. I find that so interesting, you know? Okay. So, in the big giant book, I was... Okay, now I have it in my hand, so I can show you guys this book. Encyclopedia of Spirits. It's gigantic. And you can see all my... <laughs> oh, there is so much information in this. It's just mind-blowing. And actually, in this book is where I've come to the theory that most of these deities were the original... The original deity, I think, was a goddess and um or civil and that through time and different languages they they be, they got different names and you know because i'm looking at one right now Valinus, which is baltic blackbirds and animals conifers trees we're just talking about venus trees right and um yeah, similar, similar relation to like, um, blackbirds and animals. You could relate that to like Bridget. You could, you could relate that to, um, some of the African deities. I mean, I just think after, you know, when it comes down to it, these are very similar, um, aspects and they share similar symbols and places of like uh, where you can find them. You can also find Bridget in in or near a tree. Um, there's another deity I just read about a couple days ago where you can sit at the bottom of a tree to connect to her. I mean, and I was learning from a video on YouTube um, about a goddess supposedly... Oh, Eve, that turned herself into the tree of knowledge how about that okay these are stories we don't hear anyhow okay so origin is italy venus which is interesting because i thought it was greek but i guess there's a connection there right but i thought it was greek okay um she was originally the italian goddess of fertile fertile soil and over vegetable gardens um she was basically a garden goddess right um apparently julius caesar traced his ancestor to one of um arena's sons aphrodite's grandson and so he put a big symbol of aphrodite venus because she's they're supposed to be related um yeah romans identified her with aphrodite so, vegetables. Interesting. Nothing about pine trees in here. Let's see. Sacred days, April 1st. Feast of Venus. Okay, isn't that interesting? So, all Fool's Days, I was just talking about, is also a feast for Venus. A feast day for Venus. Isn't that interesting? Um, okay. Another day is August 19th. Isn't that Augustus' birthday? Augustus Caesar? Ah, so maybe that was... Anyways, houses and gardens are dedicated to Venus and her blessings are invoked. Kitchen gardens have an official vacation day. <laughs> All right. So that's what the big book talks about Venus because there's tons of information about Venus out there. Uh, so I find that interesting because... Um, there's just so much, there's, there's so much information. There's so much about the feminine and goddesses. And, um, yeah, I started watching, um, this guy named Morg 
on YouTube who talks about he's in a, a Hyperion, um, which is basically a belief. It's not. It's not a belief. It's based on logic and mathematics, but also talks about like all different kinds of things, Gnostic things, and um, he speaks about. I can't remember her name. Arena. I think her name is Arena, which is supposed to be Eve's daughter, and um, she's against patriarchy and she comes from the true light and. These are stories that have been quote unquote banned from the Bible or removed from the Bible or just removed from basic knowledge. Um, anyways, I those are stories I hadn't heard of. I had heard something kind of like channeled through through Anput, who I believe was another name for say not Eve, but um, one of those sisters, the, the three sisters that populated the earth is the story that I heard, okay? <clears throat> and um, basically that earth was a refuge for the feminine getting away from another planet that was basically Marduk and trying to take over. And I think that it's highly possible that the deity primarily worshipped today is Marduk um, disguised as the one true God. That's my theory. I don't know. But um, she, I didn't hear that she'd had a daughter. I just heard that we are all daughters of Eve, that most of us are daughters of Eve and that the daughters of Eve that were fooled into the worshiping of um, basically the great deceiver would be the daughters of, of that would be like venerated and um, and the truth would come out and I think that's happening okay so I want to finish this video before I run out of time that is a little share about the moon and the goddess Venus on Valentine's Day, a Monday in February 2022. Thank you all for subscribing. It's very exciting. I have a lot of, to me, a lot of subscribers. I think when I get up to 300, something happens. So share and like and subscribe. Um, somebody asked about my email actually if you go back a few videos you will see an email to get in touch with me I haven't been posting it because I have the information kind of already out there and um, yes if you want to find me on Instagram I think my link is in my on my I don't know I don't know I don't really share any content on Instagram and I don't really care about followers so if you're here that's pretty awesome <laughs> Just side note. Okay, so. Oh, I totally forgot. Okay. So when I read that Venus is the root word for venerate, I looked up the word Venus. And guess what it equals? It equals nine. And guess what the word venerate equals? It also equals nine. So, Venus and venerate. May you be venerated. May you be venerated, uplifted, right? So, we'll leave it with that. That's pretty funny. I totally forgot. That was like the whole point. <laughs> I'm doing this video. I was sharing that part because I thought that was so cool. All right. So, enjoy your day. Take care of yourselves. Stay healthy. Stay, um, you know, knowing yourself. And thank you for being here. Until next time.